Hey everyone, Ari Lam through the blog to watch. Please subscribe to our videos on YouTube and like this video if you find it useful and hit the bell to be notified of our upcoming videos. This is a review of the Chrono Swiss Classic Regulator. It's the new Classic Regulator. It's their most refined Classic Regulator yet. Potentially the most classic of Classic Regulators. And I'm, I'm joking about that because this is a brand that right now is trying to be known mostly for making um, attractive regulator watches. They're not the only ones. It's a it's an underappreciated complication, or maybe not a complication, a dial layout. And it stems from certain types of precise clocks um, that people would regulate their pocket watches and other timepieces against because they were very accurate. And the idea of a regulator is that you have one dial for the hours, another smaller one for the seconds, and the main dial is used for the minutes. Now you might be thinking to yourself that that's a slightly challenging way to read the time, and it is if you're used to reading time on a normal uh, two or three hand dial where everything is centralized, but actually over time it becomes um, quite legible and quite easy, but there is definitely a little bit of an adjustment period. I haven't sized this particular watch yet, so the bracelet is a bit large. This is a watch that is more affordable than a lot of um, Chrono Swiss watches used to be. Um, in the market, it's definitely a premium priced watch. We'll get to the price a little bit later. But for that, you definitely have very good build quality. This steel case is 41 millimeters wide, has a nice coined bezel and case back, good, uh, good differing polishes. The bracelet is of a high quality and feels solid. The movement is a module on top of a base um, Swiss uh, automatic movement. Uh, you can see there, there it's a nice uh, display case back. There's some plastic over there. And the automatic rotor and the movement have a decent level of decoration. Not too thick of a case. This version of the classic regulator has a silver dial that matches uh, the case and bracelet and also has uh, blue colored hands which um, really are nicely made and have a great proportions to them. They have loom painted on them and it's sort of hard to see but there's little loom dots around the periphery of the dial here. So reading the hours uh, with the loom will be a little bit more challenging because there's no markers but reading the minutes in the dark actually is going to be pretty nice. So it sort of has a little bit of a sporty element to it as well. Um, Chrono Swiss has had various types of ownership over the years so this is um, the newest ownership and they say Atelier Lucerne right there on the dial to remind everyone that the brand uh, is now based in Lucerne, Switzerland. So there it is on the wrist and I'll say the one other sort of um, element of design DNA which is common to Chrono Swiss is the large onion, uh, sometimes known as aviator style crown. There's onion style, there's turnip style, there's various different styles of these crowns, but the idea was that pilots needed a really big crown that they could grasp while wearing glo gloves to operate uh, during flight, and that is sort of a, I'll call it a, a piece of design which has stuck um, with Chrono Swiss, and that's why you have it. It's not per se part of sort of a dressy watch um, that this arguably is, but there are sporty elements to it. In some ways, the design of this watch is confused, but it's definitely, um, as I said, uh, ha has a classic sort of old world feel to it, so it feels appropriate. And it is comfortable, and it is practical, and it is legible. So while I think the watch community is still trying to figure out the best way of understanding um, how and when to best appreciate uh, Chronosus regulator watches, they are pretty good timepieces um, for those that understand them right now. Price for this version of the Classic Regulator is $4,750. And you can see more about this Chronosus watch on a blog to watch. Thanks.